process he has learned during his first four months in office. The president spent another weekend away from D.C., this time though for a celebration rally in Pennsylvania. He spoke about his accomplishments so far in the White House, including the confirmation of Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch. And the last time a new Supreme Court Justice was confirmed in the first 100 days was 136 years ago in 1881, and I was devastated to hear that because I thought I'd be the only one to have done that. President Trump also attacked the media, saying if their job is to be honest, they deserve, quote, a big, fat, failing grade. In Washington, D.C., journalists stressed the importance of the First Amendment and got a few laughs at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Legendary Watergate reporters Bob Woodward and Carl Bernstein presented journalism awards at the annual event. A lot of people talking about the jokes from The Daily Show comedian Hassan Minaj. No one wanted to do this, so of course it lands in the hands of an immigrant. That's how it always goes down. With the president's absence, the organizers of the event say they were putting the focus on the role of the press in a democracy. Thousands here in Chicago marked the president's 100th day in office with a march. They rallied in Federal Plaza and then marched to Trump Tower, shutting down some streets along the way. Many are concerned over the president's environmental policies. Trump is not uh, looking at policies that consider things long-term, like shutting down the EPA and organizations that will help us long-term. In Washington, D.C., and it was estimated 200,000 protesters marched to the White House. And the latest move from the Environmental Protection Agency fueled protesters' frustrations as well. The agency removed most of the information on climate change from its website. The EPA says the website was updated to, quote, reflect the approach of new leadership. Too much weight in the back of this plane caused the nose to tilt up in the air at the gate. It happened at O'Hare. Passengers had just gotten off the Frontier Airlines flight when the jet tipped up. No one was hurt. Some people who live near O'Hare will get a break from airplanes flying overhead starting tonight. It's part of a rotation test to ease noise around the airport. For three months, the flight patterns will change slightly overnight. The new setup will send more flights over city neighborhoods like Norwood Park, Edison Park, and Wildwood. Another rotation test is planned for later this year. Coming up for us, how the legacy of a young Chicago girl will live on after a life-saving gift. Well,